What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Flop on back with another video. And today is day five of the marathon to Xmas. And today, um, it's not a story time as much as it's a discussion. I know people like be like, oh, like, cause, okay, I'm gonna just break this down as briefly as I can. So when I first started YouTube, I didn't have no job. I wasn't working. It was basically, I was putting out videos every single day and I was tired, it was draining me out. And like, I used to just do like, no kidding. I used to just record five videos in an entire day. And I know, oh, well, that's not much. When you really record, sit there and record like five different videos and then you gotta stay up all night and like edit everything it was it was tiring for me and you know what i'm saying i wasn't really into youtube and full time even though i didn't have nothing i wasn't working so it was like i could do whatever i want i thought i, I had spare time for myself but i wasn't working i was basically doing youtube and, and i was just waiting for a job also you know what i'm saying i was just i just kept waiting for a job i just kept waiting kept waiting kept waiting kept waiting, kept waiting. then everything shut down so now i'm just like oh well i'm about to just keep doing youtube so then i want to say around july it was like around june july ish when uh i was like you know let me just apply for different jobs like i'm not working at mcdonald's no more and you already know if you know the story of mcdonald's or what i like i made a video on it if you want to watch that video please do but um after i got done with mcdonald's i'm like man i don't want to do fast food no more i really want to just get into retail and just start doing like other stuff like i want to just i didn't want to do fast food for the rest of my life so bless is a blessing in disguise that this store that i only went to twice i only went to the store twice just for something that i i, I didn't know they didn't even have. i didn't even know they had but i went to the store called Hibbit Sports. Now, Hibbit Sports is a shoe, it's, it's a sports company that merged with City Gear to create a shoe store. Like, it's mostly, a, like, now it's fashion. It used to be about sports. Now it's, like, fashion wear type now. Um. So, yeah, I got hired. Well, okay, let me let's just say this. I didn't fully get hired yet, but... I only went there twice. I went there once just randomly and then I went there with my girlfriend when I was getting like some shoes and like a fit. Um, but I really liked the environment. I liked how they was treating me when I was there. I was getting full, you know, full attention. I asked for a son, they was like hair, blah, 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 blah. They helped me out. So I'm like, cool, that's a good spot. That's a cool spot. I'm gonna just go there more often problem was the state shut down entirely and we couldn't I really couldn't go nowhere so I'm like man that's a bummer and then when I got the notification that they was hiring I'm like okay it's a shoe spot a sports spot I like sports I like shoes I want to do that and it was cool for me to get that opportunity because that was something I always wanted to do. Like it was either Foot Locker or just anything with shoes. I didn't care what it was as long as it had something to do with shoes. Cause if you know me, I love shoes. So, uh, yeah, so I filled out my application. I don't believe, I then I think I got the call the next day or the day after. I didn't know who called me, so I immediately didn't even answer at first. I'm like, man, they just, it was just a random number. I went back to see, I woke back up, and one of my managers, who I still work with right now, he was like, oh, uh, yeah, just said this for it, so you wanna do an interview? And I got ready for my interview. I dressed in certain casual. I think I had, maybe one day I might do a, a sneaker collection, because I only got like a handful of sneakers, to be honest with you. like. I don't I really do, like, I really barely got a collection. It's more like shoes I'd probably wear here and there. But I might do a sneaker collection one day, one day. Not now though, not now. Like my, my collection is out of dirt. But, um, what happened? Uh, I, do on, I was so excited, like, 
I was excited and nervous because and during interviews, I get nervous because I be like, yo, man, I might, I might not get this job. And I just, that's my main feeling. Like, I don't get the job, whatever. It is what it is. So, but this job, I really wanted so bad. And I was like, really trying to get the job. And man, I was like, really stressing about it. And my girlfriend was like, dude, don't stress. It's okay. Just, just, just go in there and you, and demand that job. And I'm like, cool. So I had two interviews. I had an interview with, I really don't want to give out names. <laughs> I don't want to give out names, but it is what it is. So, girl, uh, it's, a, it's a lady named Sarah and a lady named Tabitha, who, I, who is like the main, main person. Like at my store, it's the main person. Uh, I did my interview with Tabitha and she loved me from the jump. I didn't think so at first, but we, I kind of had kicked it off cool with Tabitha and then Sarah, I guess really wanted me to work there that bad. And I'm not like, it, the interview process was great. I had a good, like, I wasn't uncomfortable. And like, I was, I, I kind of was like, man, I want this job. It is what it is. If I don't get it, I don't get it. But I'm like, man, I'm gonna get this job. <laughs> I just had a feeling I'm gonna get it. So I got, uh, so I'm having a job. I've been working there since what, July? And it's like December now. So I've been there for like, half of the year um working at hibbit is dope it's a dope experience it's really like because you're working with shoes and then it's a lot it's a lot that goes down with hibbit that i could break down in a whole nother video if y'all want me to it's like it's like something i really wanted to do so bad and then on top of that it was just it's a Great opportunity that they gave me. And without them, uh, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Most likely just sleeping and making videos. But that's really the main reason why I wasn't uploading crazy. Because I started working again. And then that's when I took that little hiatus. I barely was making videos. And then now I'm back to the Marathon to Xmas. Um, but for the most part though. It's solid. It's a solid job. It's cool. You you meet a lot of people there. Um, you do a lot. It's more. It's like a foot. Lock, it's like a mini Foot Locker. Just think about that. It's like a mini Foot Locker. You get shoes. You get whatever you need. Equipment, basketballs, footballs. Like any not any sport, but like the main sports that you want. We got it. Um. Like, that's the reason why I got my hoodie on and I just came from work and I'm about to just make this video and edit it and upload it. And so that's what really the reason why I didn't upload that much. But for the most part, hip is a great experience. If you really want to get interviewed or anything, um, right now, I don't think we're hiring, but for the most part, we probably about to be hiring soon. I don't know, but just sneaker spots in general is cool. It's a it's a great experience to have and it's I I enjoyed it. Anyway, do you work at Sneaker Spot? Do you really want to work at Sneaker Spot? Is there any other places you want to work at? Is it did you like the video? I hope you liked the video. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, man, and we already know till next time. Peace. Sneaker collection coming soon. I. Don't got much, but y'all get y'all y'all y'all. I'll I'll, I'll 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 get signed up real quick. All right, peace.